Welcome back. We are now making the two sides of the boxes that are going to go here and on the other side over there. So let's start a new sketch and we will start sketching on this surface here. And we are going to again use this use button and we're going to have to go through here and use a bunch of these surfaces um to get the shape we are going to want here so the easy way is just to kind of click on each flat surface there it's going to get you all the parts you eventually need um some extra parts are going to show up in there that you won't need but that's going to be fine too all right and let's look at that straight on here all right and we're going to need that to be uh part of our design there and this is our center line. We're going to use that center line like we've done before to reflect some things and make a mirror because I'm going to want this tab, all this stuff, at the top also. All right, and that's really the only thing I need to mirror right now. Um, and we'll see that, well, you know, why not mirror some other things too? We'll, we'll mirror this line and this line also. That's going to give us the rest of that shape there. And really, that's all she wrote there. We can start extruding this and making our side piece. Now that we have all these other tabs already, already created, it's going to go real quick for us here. So again, it's going to try and extrude a little too much there. So let's go through and select just these surfaces we want to extrude here. Here we go. This one, and this one, and this one, and this one. And let's put that in as our thickness here. Let's look at that before we push OK. Yeah, that's looking pretty good, right? Nothing overlapping there. All right. We'll push OK. And so for mine, the other side, because the number of tabs I chose, the other side of the box over here, um, it's going to look a little different because, well, you know, actually, it's going to be all right. So we're going to do a linear pattern again. Let's try this out. We're going to say we want to pattern this in this direction. And the distance, you see it showing up right there. The distance is going to be the length minus the thickness. And look at that, showing up in the right spot. I'm just double checking this. Looking pretty good there. We're going to say OK. All right. So for some of your boxes, the bottom is going to end up being exactly the same as the top. But it's, um, in my case, it's not going to do that. So if I do the same linear pattern, let's see what this is. This is wrong. Don't do this. This is bad. Um, so when you, if you do it this way, since my top piece Is different. This might work for some of you, but you can see that's not going to work for the way I designed my box. So mine is a little different. For some of you, that might work. Um, mine is not working because it's a little flip flop back. Uh, so if that works for you, go for it. But mine has some empty spots where it will not line up, so I cannot do that. So I'm going to have to make a new sketch. So this is method number two. And I'm going to say sketch on this top surface. Any top surface here is going to be fine. All right. And all I need to do is click use. And I want this corner dot and the opposite corner dot. And I'm going to make a rectangle. That is the whole top surface there, right? You can see that whole top surface looking good. And I'm going to extrude this. And it's going to be my same thickness as before. And I want it going downward, so that's going to be the lid. And you'll notice it's overlapping here, right? So that's overlapping the other parts there, which is going to be all right for now. Make sure it's a new piece, not adding anything together. All right, you can see it's overlapping. You can kind of see it looks a little weird in some places, which is all right, though. We're going to use this tool called Boolean, which is going to cut away some pieces. So we want to 
click subtract and the tools the tools are all the parts that are going to do the cutting so that would be a tool that would be a tool all these side pieces that we want to cut the lid away with and remove are going to be the tools the target is what's getting cut which is the lid there and you can see it's going to cut those notches in there but right now it's going to eliminate the tools so we want to say keep tools so those stay solid there and bingo we officially have our box that is ready to be laser cut and we will use this later to do all sorts of other type boxes but this is a good standard starting point um, the cool thing about this also now is if you like, you know, I want my box to be a different size, all I have to do is not change anything in there, in all my sketches and all that stuff. I can come up here and say, you know, actually I want the height of my box to be three inches. And I just type a three in there, and look at that, my box is now taller, right? You can play with those numbers all you want, change those around, get a box you like, the right size, enjoy. I will see you soon for our next box type using this one. Bye.